April 9th, 2020, and uh, been doing a lot of work around here. Things are greening up, and uh, I'm just going to show you a few things. Uh, I started collecting a few varieties of fig. This, uh, well, I guess back in the fall of 19, early to mid fall. And I had up to like a dozen varieties, lost a few over the winter, but I've still got nine different varieties of fig. And uh, I've been trying to work on getting them in the ground. I'm using these uh, car tires with the upward facing sidewall cut out of them uh, as raised beds. And uh, I'm just filling them halfway up with just some fill dirt. And then on top of that is my uh, raised bed soil that I've created out of, uh, basically it's just rotted down uh, compost and mulch. Uh, but uh, this one here is my Smith fig. Uh, got that as a cutting. And it's rooted and, and doing well. And so we have to excuse some of the mess around here. We're in the middle of a lot of changes, a lot of dirt work. You see uh, <laughs> uh, the process right over here. I've got some videos that I won't do much on this one about this, but uh been trying to build a greenhouse and just got really delayed this year with uh, between finances and uh, the rain and and so on uh, I did this week get a couple of the uh, upright posts concreted in the ground for the walls and hopefully uh, between this weekend and the first part of this coming week I'll finish that up it's uh, <laughs> all grown over in there so I have to get all the weeds back out of there uh, and I'll just said I wasn't going to do it, but I'll go ahead and uh, show you that uh, raised bed down the outside of this. Again, like I did with them tires, it's filled with uh, just some dirt that the county brought cleaning out the ditches. And then I'm topping it with that good black uh, composted soil. Uh, that I've made. I've, I've kept this going and added to for probably 10 years now and uh, works really well so and then across the this is 40 foot long here then across the back 18 foot uh, across the back has the same setup I've actually already got a few tomatoes and onions and stuff in there this year I uh, got that bat bed finished but get back to the figs I just put this this one and that one there these two in this morning uh don't have anything in that one this one is my uh texas everbearing and they're still a little slow about coming out this year but they're doing it i probably just bury the pot in there for right now and uh later on i'll as they leaf out more i'll uh take one of them out and put it in there uh, then decide what to do with the other one. So there's that Smith. We pan around. I got several more, but right here, this row, I've got an Alma, Alma fig. So I've got two of them. Put one in that tire. Kadota. This is the only one I have of the Kadota. So she's doing really well. <clears throat> and here, that tire over there's got a pomegranate in it. Grew that from a cutting also. Uh, this is my black mission. I've got two of them. So they're really pretty healthy. It's just the way the light's hitting them almost made them look yellowed out. And uh, I'll start back up here on this end. This is my LSU purple. And uh, 
actually it's one cutting here that split off into two three i'll just let it bush out I've got a couple other little cuttings in there coming along they're they're getting it a little slower in the pot uh now this one is really an unknown variety but i'm, I'm leaning real heavy towards a uh And, and the leaves aren't looking right yet. They're, they're real young on cuttings. I'll do that. See, these start to take shape. But Greenishia. I guess that's how you say it. And uh, I've got the main one planted there and three more potted up. Next is my Celeste. Now, if you remember, if, if any of you watched my other videos... This was a transplant. My dad had dug it up. It sat out on the ground for 24 to 30 hours before I was able to go get it, plant it, and uh, trimmed it back to about four foot tall. Took a bunch of cuttings. I'm glad I did. Over the winter, with the shock and everything, the main tree did did die, but I, I tried. It was going to go in the trash heap anyways. Uh, so I just cut off the rest of the way the other day down to a stub, hoping maybe a, a, a root will come back up but all these cuttings here i do have cuttings that are sending up the tops of the cuttings froze but they're coming at ground level sprouting out and there's that one of course the top of it froze also <laughs> but uh it's coming back so i will have some more uh, celeste going on there it's just put me back a little ways and then my big project was this uh turkey fig brown turkey here that i had i've had this this is actually my first fig i've had it for oh 10, 12 years minimum and it was pretty tall it's probably 20 15 uh, 15 to 18 foot tall and i really drastically reduced it in size it was actually way up there uh, where that shovel is in that tire more or less in that area and I moved it down here probably 80 feet, 80 feet plus across the yard and uh, cut it way back. It's coming back beautifully. Uh, I've actually already got rid of, a, I gave away a few uh, that I made off of that, a few babies off of that. But here is, this is one division. This was actually a... Uh, a sucker that come out of the ground on the bottom of it pretty large sucker I dug up uh, split off and this was also just like we have three pieces here this was another division of it that I split off so they're all doing well and uh, we got a few little cuttings I believe going on off of this one uh, you see down in there I've got a lot of weeds <laughs> I'm not easy to grow dead gum it but uh I've got a few little cuttings that are leafing out. So anyway, just want to show that. Mainly a, a fig video this morning. And uh, nine varieties. And hope y'all enjoyed.